The one on the right seems sort of grayer and less reflective, and the one on the left is kind of gleaming a little bit, uh, shining a little bit. And uh, the one on the left has been started some work on, uh, the one on the right has not. And uh, we'll see how this guy looks when uh, all is done. Talk to you soon. And then let's look on the back. Here, check that out, veneer repair, zoom. Piece of wood missing. Other marks, not a big deal for marks. Okay. Okay, you see this? We're gonna start with this veneer repair on this chair, closing in on it. And I'll show you how it's done. Hang on. Okay, here's the chair. Uh, held up on a stool and clamped right here you see so this is tight it jiggles a little bit but it's gonna stand there while I do my thing to it so now I'm gonna select a piece of wood now the seat has been for the veneer repair has been taken out with a scalpel and the cliff sides the sides of the cuts here are very sharp and straight. So now I should be able to cut a piece of veneer that's vroom, 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 and fit it right in there just like a sock going on your, I mean like a shoe going on your sock or something like that. Nice and easy. Let's see what happens. Check this out. I was going to cut a piece of veneer for this guy. Now check this out. This is cut it's close in character. I can darken it to whatever extent I want. Look at this. The cut edge makes it less visible when it's made the right color. Uh, I'm going to have a tough time holding the camera and doing this also, but you'll, you'll see. I'm going to tap it in with this dowel a little bit. I'll put down the camera for a moment. That way we can ease the patch right into just hammer it in slowly until it it's totally merged there. Look at that. Cool. We can cut this off later. Glue this guy up. I'm going to take it back down. See? We can do our stuff to it and basically color it before we put it in and stuff so it's close and then we don't have to manipulate it a lot while it's in place. See you soon. Just wanted to show you a quick thing. This is the piece of veneer that I cut first to fit in this spot. And as you can see, there's some looseness. It's not a lot, but it's there's a gap, and it's um, you know it's very obvious that this piece doesn't fit. Okay, even on the back of a chair. But we can see that when the second cut makes this guy larger. And get a sweet fit. It's going to go in there perfectly when I tap it in. Okay, so it's worth it to cut a second one that just fits if you have the time. And also, <coughs> what you try to do is cut the cut the one that you're going to fit in there larger. And so you just have to trim it off a little bit to get it to fit. Uh, you don't want to cut small the first cut if you don't have to. So this is a mistake and I you know, wish I hadn't made it. It costs me time but it gives me a template for this. And so then I can cut one that's exactly fitting. So in that way it's useful. There, put aside. So there's the veneer replace, uh, there's the veneer uh, repair in place and uh, glued, finished somewhat, a little colored. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit more to it, but it's basically there. And uh, it's on the back of a chair anyway, it doesn't have to be quite as precise and beautiful as one on the front of a chair. Talk to you soon, bye. There's the veneer repair in place. Uh, it's over to the right side here. It's right 
here I'm pointing at it and you see other stuff on there and I'm gonna be taking that off as I spruce up the chair a little bit so the repair will just merge more and more into it and that's good and it's on the back anyway and it's not going to be seen it's just we just wanted to fill that gap talk to you later